The Concorde was arguably one of the greatest planes ever made. With excellent service and cuisine, exclusive airport lounges, and very high airfares, it revolutionized the idea of air travel. Just over 40 years ago, the most elite of passengers were crossing the Atlantic in comfort and style, flying at altitudes far higher than that of traditional aircraft, and cruising to their destinations at twice the speed of sound. Today, a typical flight from New York to London takes just around 7 hours. On the Concorde, it took just under 3.5 hours. It was by far the fastest commercial aircraft in the sky. The only problem is that it failed. In July 2000, an Air France Concorde crashed just minutes after takeoff from Paris, killing all 109 people on board. This resulted in a sharp decline in passenger numbers, which rendered the aircraft unprofitable to operate. After being in service for about 27 years, in April of 2003, both Air France and British Airways announced that they would be retiring their supersonic jet, stating that it was due to low passenger numbers and rising maintenance costs. No supersonic commercial aircraft has flown since then. Now, almost 16 years later, people are starting to wonder, will there ever be another Concorde? Though many ideas are still up in the air, no pun intended, the possibilities of a new supersonic jet are promising. A company by the name of Boom Supersonic is looking to make supersonic air travel a reality once again. They have partnered with Japan Airlines, who have invested $10 million in the company and is collaborating with them to quote, refine the aircraft design and define the passenger experience for supersonic travel. Boom hopes to have the aircraft flying by 2023, which is quite a stretch, but at least it shows their commitment to the program. The jet will have a cruising speed of Mach 2.2, which is actually faster than Concorde, which had a cruising speed of Mach 2.0. But what makes the aircraft so enticing, however, is the price of the ticket. Boom says that a one-way fare from New York to London will cost around $2,500, comparable to that of a standard business class ticket today, and much cheaper than a Concorde ticket decades ago. In addition to this, the aircraft's fuel efficiency and light composite materials will not only make it cheaper to operate than Concorde, but also much quieter in flight. When the aircraft breaks the sound barrier, the sonic boom will supposedly be at least 30 times quieter than that produced by Concorde. Of course, Boom is not the only company looking at supersonic air travel. Arion, an aerospace startup company from Nevada, is also investing in the business. In December of 2017, they announced a joint venture between Lockheed Martin and General Electric Aviation to develop the world's first supersonic business jet. However, being that it is marketed as a business jet, it will only seat around 12 passengers and will fly at 1.4 times the speed of sound, about 60% faster than a typical aircraft today. Even NASA has joined the supersonic industry, who are now looking to produce what has been dubbed as the Concorde 2.0. The project has been backed by President Donald Trump, who has promised the first year of funding in his 2018 budget proposal. It will cost NASA over $300 million to do tests on the aircraft, and they have also publicly stated to Bloomberg that their proposed aircraft will reduce the sonic boom to 65 decibels, which is similar to that of a car driving on a highway. The future of supersonic air travel does indeed look bright, but do keep in mind that these companies are still in their developmental stages. As far as how successful they will be at producing supersonic aircraft, we shall have to wait and see. So that brings me to asking you, what do you guys think of supersonic travel? Do you think there will one day be another Concorde? Let me know in the comments section below. Anyhow guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all have an excellent day and I will see you all very soon.